Hello everyone, it's Aditi here and in today's session we are going to learn about three-dimensional intelligence theory. J.P. Guilford was the first scientist in the history of behavioral science, mainly psychology, who was of the view that mind has three-fold function instead of one or two. He worked on it in fifth decade of 20th century and developed a three-dimensional model of intelligence in 1955. Later on, he completed his work on three-dimensional model of intelligence in 1966. Three-dimensional theory of intelligence state that content, operation, and product are the three dimensions of the mind or intelligence. Here, content dimension stands for subject matter on which operation dimension functions. He classified content into four categories, memory, figure, symbolic, semantic, and behavior. Later on, he divided figure content into two parts, first as visual figure and second as auditory figure. That added one more category in content. Thus, the total number of categories in the content became five in place of four. They can be defined as visual content, which can be seen by the eyes, auditory content, which can be heard by the ears, symbolic content. It is composed of letter, digit, and other conventional signs, usually organized in journal patterns such as alphabet or number of system. Then, semantic content. It is related to meaning or ideas. And the last is behavior content. Behavior stands for the act of a person. Whatever person acts, it becomes its behavior. The second dimension of theory is operation. It was earlier classified in five subcategories. Later on, one more category was added to it that made total number of subcategories to the six. They are cognition. Cognition, it is the mental process of acquiring knowledge and understanding through thought and experiences. Memory of record, it is a permanent record of one's thoughts and feeling. We can say it's a permanent memory or long-term memory. Memory of retention, short-term memory is considered as memory of retention. Then, divergent thinking, it means thinking of all the possible ways to reach the final solution of a problem. Convergent thinking, thinking about one solution for problem or task. Evaluation. Evaluation, it is the way of process of assessing an individual's behavior, personality and several other domains. The third dimension of the theory is product. It is result of operation on concept. He classified product dimension in six categories. We will discuss them now. Unit, single unit of knowledge. Class, set of similar items. Relation, the relationship between two or more variables. System, multiple or complex relationship among different type of variables. Transformation, change of perspective. Implication, it means the prediction. Having discussed three dimensions independently, let us see how three dimension function. Suppose operation first, that is cognition, operates on content. First subcategory of content, visual figure. It produces six kind of products. Likewise, when six kind of operations operate with five kind of content, they produce six into five into six. That is 180 kind of mental abilities. Guilford, with the help of factor analysis, justifies his three-dimensional theory of intelligence. In earlier stage, when there were four subcategories of content and five subcategories of operation existed, total number of mental abilities identified were 5 into 4 into 5, that is 120 mental abilities. And that is all about the three-dimensional intelligence theory of J.P. Guilford.